everybody and welcome to my channel i'm channeling my you know like country taylor swift here i don't know i just had my hair in flats and it went a bit too puffy so i'm just gonna leave it like a big ball of fluff on my hair today's video we are going to be doing a q a so for those of you who have watched along my like my diet challenge and stuff that i did um I did an eight weeks to wow challenge, that was the title, um, and we did an eating and diet challenge for like eight weeks. So I've got here like a few questions that I've written down to answer like as a QA and a because I don't have that many followers to ask um, people questions and no one ever does when I do it. So follow me on Instagram. Woo. Um, anyway, so I've got a little diary here full of questions a little introduction to the eight weeks to wow challenge it was literally just working out and eating clean for eight weeks not like working out every day for eight weeks but like working out like it was like a diet and exercise um thing so um yeah pretty much just eating healthy like they have recipes in the book and they have like workouts in the book so we were doing that um yeah, I'm going to be answering the questions and we'll get straight into this video. I can just tell my hair is going to really annoy me during this video. Like, piss off, piss off at my face, please. Alright, so the first one was, what was your goal? My goal was, like with this diet, was to not lose weight, but um, gain muscle. So which is what I did, which is really good. Next question is, how did you find the first week? So the first week of the diet was pretty much cutting everything out. Like, oh, well, that was like the whole diet pretty much. Like I had no sugars and stuff like that. Um, I think the night before I started my challenge, I actually ate like nearly a whole packet of um, like wafer biscuits, like chalk wafer biscuits, because I knew that I was going to, you know, really wipe out the sugars and stuff i found it okay i just i was getting a bit hungry and a bit like snappy because i just wanted to like have some sugar you know like i was having the sugar withdrawals because you know it's a very like strict clean diet so it like removes all the toxins and stuff like that so yeah i found the first week interesting next question was it hard not eating junk food for eight weeks? So it was hard eating not bleh. So it was bleh. Oh. Hello, mouth, brain, are you working? Um, yes, it was hard because I'm someone who likes to have a little bit of a snack here and there. Um, but, um, it wasn't that hard because I knew, like, I wanted to gain muscle and, like, do this diet properly, so... I had that in my mind, but I, like I was saying before, I was getting a bit snappy because I just wanted some sugar. Next question. Did you have a cheat day or a sneaky snack? <laughs> in the first week, um, my boyfriend's sister, she actually is pregnant at the moment. Um, and we found out a couple of weeks before our diet started. But, um... Then they came over, they were doing like a whole gender reveal through eating a cupcake. So I was like, well, I am not going to say no to this because one, I wanted to know what the gender was and two, I was like, well, it's only a cupcake, like it's not going to kill me. But it was like the most amazing cupcake. It was so rich, it was so sugary. And I'm just like, I'm going to take my time eating this because it was just so good. Um, so that was in the first week. We had a cheat week because it was Brandon's birthday and it was my mum's 50th birthday. So for Brandon's birthday, we went out for dinner, but we went to a place that was like all like sushi and fish and stuff like that. So it was pretty healthy. And I just ordered like raw salmon and like raw fish. So it was, I still ate pretty healthy and we'll try to anyway. Um, and then for mum's birthday we went out for dinner as well but I got some duck which is protein and healthy but like the sauce was the only thing that wasn't healthy but I tried there wasn't really much um, and I also had a piece of cake um, 
just because it was her 50th birthday and I'm like, we have been doing so well on this challenge, not eating any junk food. So I was like, I'm gonna have a piece of cake for mum's birthday and yeah. So yes, I did have a cheat day and a sneaky snack. But like, it was for good reasons, if that makes sense. <laughs> Don't come for me. Uh, next question. Did you lose any weight? I think I lost a little bit of weight but gained muscle. Um, because my measurements changed a little bit. So I would say yes, I did. And I was pretty happy about that. Because when I look back, I was like, oh, I don't think I've lost anything. But then I compared the photos and like the measurements. And I was like, oh my god, I actually did. So I was pretty proud. Also, my partner was doing this as well. So he lost some weight too. But we didn't measure him. Oh, silly, silly. Like we were go like I was telling him that we need to like measure you and we just kept forgetting um, and we also didn't weigh ourselves so that was smart of us wasn't it but I can tell and so can the rest of my family and like all of Bren's friends they can tell that he has lost weight like every time someone sees him they're like oh my god you've lost so much weight which is really good so yes he's lost some weight as well this question is what was your favorite thing about the challenge oh, no, my favourite thing about the challenge was some of the meals. I liked some of the meals. Like, not everything I enjoyed, obviously, because you're not used to it. Your body's not used to, like, eating so healthy and stuff like that. Um, some of the meals, I liked working out, and I'm in that mentality still that I want to keep working out and stuff like that because it was really good for my mental health. I forgot how good it makes me feel. So working out was probably one of the things that I really liked the most. Uh, next question. What was your favourite meal throughout the weeks? Pick your favourite from each week. Okay, so I'm going to go get the book and I'll pick one from each week and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I've got the book here. <coughs> um, so we're going to go to week one and I'm going to show you which one is my favourite. Let me just have a look at little read here for oh my god there's pages stuck together oh dear so week one was pretty much all like good i liked them all pretty much um my favorite though would be these crab and avocado rolls they were literally amazing oh so good i also enjoyed the protein pancakes so that was week one okay so my favorite was from week two was this hot and sour beef soup. Hello. It was just a simple beef soup and it was just like the flavors in it was amazing. Um, okay, week three, beet salad. Beet salad, so it's just like, all it was was bacon, egg, avocado and tomato salad and oh, it was just really good. Brandon loves it as well, so that can going to be um, a definite salad that we're going to be making in the future and keep using. So for week four I chose the easy chicken stir fry because it was pretty easy and it tasted really yummy. Like, oh nah, ee, oh, ee, oh. Five, we've got the devil nachos. I don't know if you guys remember them but literally it was like a protein bread that you had to cook. Um, and then you cut it up as little triangle chips um, and then you got meat and like all this salsa on top and oh it was so good okay. week six what do we got super easy peri peri chicken this one here Hello. um so all that was was uh chicken breast peri peri spice all-purpose seasoning um and serve on spinach with a dollop of yogurt on top. That was so yummy. So week seven. Oh, they were good. Mm -hmm. Pork and funnel patties. They were really good. Um, I, I think I might make some more one day because they were very nice. Um, but we're up to the week eight. So which one was my favorite? I don't know, week 8 was a very like strange week, I didn't really like it much, but I would say the Pommy Scotch Eggs. This one here, all it was was eggs, like you had to hard boil eggs, and then you would wrap it around and like mould it in, um, mould it in, what's it called? Turkey mitts, so it was very yummy. <laughs> 
I love this next question. Oh god, I thought it was a spider. What was a meal you hated and won't eat again? Okay. So there is two meals in here that I freaking hated and oh, I won't eat again. Just the thought of it, I want to throw up. Cauliflower rissoles. So I did think that they were nice at the start until I kept eating them and I'm just so like, well, just thinking about cauliflower, I want to throw up. It's gross. Um, and then there was cauliflower stir fry. I think it was, no, cauliflower fried rice. <laughs> I really don't like cauliflower and I tried to make the cauliflower fried rice last night, but without cauliflower and cabbage and like make it with brown rice. And as I was eating it, my brain actually like tricked me into thinking that I was eating cauliflower. So I couldn't physically eat it because my brain was playing tricks on me and I just felt like I wanted to throw up. So, did you find the exercises hard? Um, to start off with, yes, but towards the end and like the middle, not really, no, I quite enjoyed a few of the exercises. Like, I'm the kind of person that loves leg workouts and ab workouts. I hate working out on my arms just because, like, I've got such, like, muscly arms for a woman that I just, like, the strength in my arms is not there. Like, I just hate working out on my arms. Uh, that's why I just, like, working out on my, from probably, like, here on down, so. Um, okay. What are your favourite exercises? So, like I was saying, my exercises, like, on my, um, glutes, thighs, calves, and stuff like that, and my abdomen, they were my favourite exercises. Um, and also, towards the end, I started to just follow some, like, YouTube, um, workout videos. So, did you ever do something different to the book? Um, say if we didn't have the right type of food, because sometimes, Coles click and collect order they stuffed up our like orders so I would just have to pick something else but like was still good to eat and like healthy so I would say that yes um also I read in the book that you were supposed to work out like five to six times a week um whereas I only did it about three to four times um which I wish I did more, but I just thought, God, like six times a week, that's like one day break, but um, yeah, so that was probably the only thing I did different, but I still got good results from just working out three to four times a week, so I'm not complaining about that. What did you find hardest about this challenge? <laughs> not eating any junk food at all, like, apart from those little cheat days and stuff, but like actually trying not to eat junk food and stuff. Like it was alright, but there were times I just wanted to have like a biscuit or a cookie or something. <laughs> um, so that was probably the hardest. Um, and getting into the mentality of trying to work out, like, oh, come on, we've got to do this. Like, we've, got to, we've got to work out. So that was probably the hardest for me because sometimes I am lazy and then sometimes I want to do workouts so it's just like ugh. did you find the easiest oh god the easiest was probably cooking the meals because I cook every night so it was easy to follow the instructions of the recipes and cook the food um did you find a meal that you liked that you would probably never eat a meal that I liked that I probably would never eat um there was a couple of them there's quite a lot like the um, protein pancakes, I don't know, like squid, I, I wouldn't normally just reach for squid but that was really yummy, um, like zucchini frittatas I think they were called, like stuff like that, um, so yeah, I did find a few recipes and like a lot of, um, next question, would you use any of these meals in the future? Yes, I would. Um, I went to use one last night, but like I said, my brain tricked me into thinking that it was cauliflower, so I didn't eat it all. <laughs> uh, next question is, would you recommend trying this challenge, like, to anybody? 
Um, I would recommend it. Yes, it's not that hard. Like, it's honestly not. Once you get into that mentality of like, this is what you've got to do, then it's it's fun. And then when you start seeing results after a couple of weeks, you're like, oh yeah. Like I could start seeing my abdomen like come back and I was getting really happy. So um, yeah, I would recommend this challenge. Next question is, are you happy with the results? Yes, I am happy. Um, like, I, like I have toned up in my abdomen, my legs feel a bit more toned. Um, same with my arms, even though I've always had like toned arms, but yeah. I am happy with the results. Uh, I just wish I worked harder, like worked out harder, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm still happy with the way that my body turned out and like the results. But last question is, what is your goal slash plan moving on from this challenge? So my goal is to keep exercising, eating healthy, but to my like liking and advantage and stuff like that so I wouldn't be so strict like um, I can eat some junk food if I like um, but yeah like continue working out and eating healthy and stuff but obviously not so strict and like being able to have a snack here and there and like junk food and stuff like that so I'm pretty happy because I have still been eating healthy and I did do a workout the other morning um so yeah that is my plan yeah this is like the last little video i think of my series of my eight weeks to wow challenge so if you enjoyed all this series and like um enjoyed watching me work out me healthy and stuff like that because these videos went for quite a while so if you sat through them like the whole 30 minutes and stuff like that thank you and you're amazing um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up, please. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.